Hi guys, Habibi here. In this video, we are going to continue completing the pick up object script that we have made earlier. If you check the console window here, if we are not in the close range position of this cube, I mean, if we are not in the cube ticker, so if we are in the cube ticker we can pick up this object but what if we are not inside the trigger let me show you right now we are not in the in that trigger we are not inside that trigger if we click this pick up uh, button you will see an error message here in the console you see that how to uh, solve this error let's edit the script script object pickup let's edit it here we will check we will add an if statement here if what can I pick up uh, if no 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 if what can I pick up not now when we pick up the object else what else we show an, a message Debug nothing I nothing I can pick up. Okay. I can pick up and something like this. Let's go back to Unity. Yeah, let's click the play button. I will try to click this pickup button and let's see what will happen here in the console. We can see this message, I can't pick up anything. But if I'm inside this trigger, I will be able to pick up the cube. Okay, that is the bug fix for that one. Now, what if I want to drop this object? Let's say here I'm going to drop the object. What can I do? I'm thinking about using the same button for dropping off the object. So, I will go back to the script to edit the to edit it here here I'm going to add public bool variable I have something false and we will change the value of I have something variable here. if I have something then I will set the value to true Okay. Then I will copy this variable. Here I make another if statement. If I have something, I will drop the object of else. If I don't have anything, then we will execute this code. If I have something here, we will code uh, what we will code here. 
I will. Let's copy this. Part. What can I make up the transform dot? Uh, set. I don't know how to clear Unity parent. Let me check on Google. Okay, Google is your friend. The answer is our friend. How do I unparent an object? Let's check. But my internet is so slow. Hang on. I don't know what is the problem with this answers.unity.com. It looks very slow. Maybe my internet connection has a problem or something else. But I can open this another page. It says to unpair an object, you can set. We can type this way: game object to transform the parent now. Okay, we can try it. Transform the parent uh, now. Let's try this one. Compiling C sharp script. All right. Click on. Wait a second. Okay. Click the play button. All right. Here we go. Let's go pick up. Let's pick up this object. Let's pick this object up whatever and now let's drop it off okay now we are not picking this object we are not handling this object and let's pick it up again okay there is another problem but at least we already dropped the object off but the object is not on the ground it is floating on the air to fix this problem I'm going to create another empty game object on my character here is the player armature okay on the example I will add an empty game object. I will, I will name it drop off point. And where it should be here. Let's say this. Let's set it this way. Okay. With edit the script here I'm going to uh, duplicate this duplicate this public object drop off uh, my opinion is when I drop off the object I want to set its position, the object position, to be this drop off point position. Let's see, can I do it this way or not? What can I pick up? The transform. The local position. Oops. Local position equals to drop off on the time from that position okay let's see can we do it this way or not
let's go then pick it up and drop it off no it's not working and it says the variable drop off point of object has not been assigned all right we did not assign the variable so let's go clicking this player armature object here is drop off point drag and drop this drop off point game object here and try it again let's check okay pick it up drop it off okay here we go it's nice right let's pick it up again oops yeah we cannot pick it up so we will fix it we will fix it okay the way to fix it is here because we said it is we set this variable to true I have something true here when we drop the object off to the ground we need to change its value to false so we will be able to pick up the object again later okay let's try maybe I can uh, move the position of drop off point I will move it upward a bit this way okay let's go let's go there pick it up we have it here let's go upstairs where is the staircase there it is it is right here okay let's drop it off no 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 let's go here okay drop it off what do you think no not yet let's pick it up again alright here we go okay that's all I, I think we have done making the pick up and drop off object system pick up and drop off object system I don't know what you call it you call it whatever you want but this is the basic idea of how to pick up and drop off an object in unity let me let me know if you have any question or leave any comment down below please hit the like button and the subscribe button to support this channel thank you for watching bye bye